I live in Durham Street. That's third on the left, up Arrow Street. As you drive up Arrow Street, it's a hairpin bend to the left, and then almost immediately, a sharp turn to the right. Up a drive to number eight. We've lived here for 25 years or more. It seemed expensive when I bought it, but it was the best buy of my life. A real home of our own. Of course, we've done a lot to it over the years and filled it with so much stuff. I hate the thought of ever having to shift. I hope when the time comes, I can die here, in my own home, buried in all my stuff. Years ago, I planted a cowrie tree in the front garden. Now it's taller than the roof of the house. It'll still be there, of course, long after I've gone, and for that matter, even the house. Now this is interesting. In the street where I live, there are only even-numbered houses, no odd numbers. That's because there's a very steep bank on the other side of the street that can't be built on. And another thing, the top of Durham Street becomes Durham Crescent. Now, whose silly idea was that? We're forever getting mail intended for 8 Durham Crescent. And vice versa. What else is special about the street where I live? I'd have to say it's the birds. Hmm. The birds, especially the tuis. Sometimes there's lots of them going at it even before the sun comes up. At times they're irritatingly repetitive. But lately I've noticed interesting variations in their songs. One bird periodically squawks like a seagull, very untoy-like. ay 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 The house sometimes shows its age. Like me. But I do feel so lucky to have such a home in a valley on the street where I live.